Tunumbu was target of NSAS protests, says ex-lawmaker. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Barely one year after the NSAS protests that rocked the peace of Nigeria in October 2020, former Senator from River State West, Senator District of River State, Senator Wilson Ake has alleged that the protest was strictly targeted at the national leader of all progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tunumbu. Senator Ake narrated the burning of a Continental TV hotel and the nation's newspaper offices, belong, which belonged to Tunumbu, was enough evident that a former Lagos state governor was targeted for elimination during the protest. Speaking during the inauguration of a Bola Ahmed Tunumbu support group BATS BAT, Vanguard River State Chapter. On Saturday, Hake said that Tenumbu is eminently qualified to be the next president of Nigeria in 2023. Hake, who is also the state chairman of a steering committee of BATS, said it was wrong for anybody to say that Tenumbu was too old to contest for the 2023 presidency, adding that the APC national leader's contribution to Nigeria's democracy qualifies him to be the next president of a country. We are not against anybody who wants to test his popularity in 2023. Let the person show up. But for us in River State, we are solidly behind the presidency of our national leader, Asewaju Bola Ahmad Tunumbu. He the digitalized man that has done so well for democracy over the years. A lot of people say that Tunumbu has a lot of money. What is he going to presidents to do at the presidency? But I believe that Tunumbu is going to the presidency to make things better for Nigerians. He has the capacity and the ability to fix the economy of a country. The target of the entire protest was Tunumbu. They wanted to eliminate him because of his popularity. That was why they burnt up his hotel, his TV station and the newspaper office. Why must anybody say that Tunumbu is too old to be president? I do not think that it is correct. It will only be fair to allow Tenembo to become the next president of Nigeria, given his enormous contributions to democracy, he said. Senator Ake also used the occasion to enjoin the leadership of APC in the state to give the former Senator Magnus Abe the opportunity of becoming the next governor of River State in 2023. Arden the Rivers... Southeast, where Bear comes from, is the only senatorial district that has not produced the governor of a state since its creation. Also speaking at the inauguration held at the Freedom House, Albert's political secretariat in Portacot, River State, the former chief of staff during the administration of former Governor Rotimi Amechi, Chief Tony Okocha, said Tirumbo has the ability to turn around the fortune of Nigeria, the same way he developed Lagos State during his time as governor. Tonumbo is the champion of Nigeria's democracy. He has the capacity to turn around the economy of Nigeria the same way he did in Lagos as governor. For a man that midwived the development of Lagos State to what it is today, I believe that the same man, if given the opportunity, can make Nigeria great again. He said. Okocha insisted that Bola Tenembo understands the problem of Nigeria and knows how to solve sin. Noting that Tenembo has shown that he is a detribalized Nigerian who has developed a lot of people who come close to him irrespective of tribe and religion. Uh -huh. Sincerely, sometimes, you know, I begin to ask myself and wonder. If the presidency seat is supposed to be used as to reward somebody now, it is not your prop it is not your father's property. It will never be a personal property. He has contributed to democracy, has contributed to democracy. Is the seat supposed to be a reward? Are you going to say you want to use the whole Nigeria to reward him for his contribution? That is what I'm hearing here. How do you come out and think, I don't know where it, wh who brought the idea that only old men who are supposed to be retiring should be in Nigeria's presidency. I do not know who gave the idea. 
Huh? Sincerely, I do not give the idea that old people alone, like people that you can clearly say that they are worn out already, almost worn out on all levels. People are supposed to be resting. They come out and still say they want to rule. With what? Look, presidency is no joke. Except you want to tell me he wants to go there and be chilling. Yes. You cannot say that that, that that is the only person that is suitable because he wants to challenge his popularity. Should somebody not be chosen because he or she is popular? Instead of how competent the person is. Because he is popular and most people and so, so what? Does he now mean he has the capacity? I mean, I'm not against anybody. But the truth is that Nigeria deserves a president that is healthy and strong. And not just healthy and strong, but someone that is very competent. Look at the current president. Do you know how much each trip he takes, takes away from the, the country's treasury? Do you know how much he spends every time he's not around? Every time he's not around. That is why things are always looking like it is not going well. Because they tell him whatever they want to tell him. He's old. He cannot do his analysis well. Look, we need somebody to come and challenge, challenge status quo. They give you data information. You say, okay, fine, you have given me. They say, ah, okay, let us go ahead with making the policies. You say, hold on, we're going to do that in the next one week. You go back into your room. You gather your facts yourself because you are agile and you are able. You get first-hand information about the policies you want to make. Thereby, at the end of the day, you might say that the con conclusion they draw is going to be different from the one you, you, you draw. And then you start asking yourself, we need somebody that will do that. Not somebody that, okay, they said, this place, this is what these people are saying. You believe it. Do you know how many people can instigate violence just because someone is old? <laughs> of course. We all have aged people. We have people who are tired and retired we all we have all seen how they act they don't they don't want trouble yes they want they need what they need is rest so are you going to tell me now that you're going to Sunubu is going to be refreshed or that presidency seat will make him agile again he is clearly tired no matter how agile a man has been in his youthful days i tell you if this thing was coming up when Bola Metonobo was younger. Nobody will be able to. You cannot say anything. People that want to vote for him, if he's competent, they should go ahead. Popularity should not be the basis. I hope Nigerians are saying this. This current president is always traveling. If he's not going for one medical trip in, one, in, in three months, he's going for treatment. If he's not going for checkup, he's going for this, he's going for that. Nigeria deserves a healthy president, and not just a healthy president, a one that is competent enough, not based on, not based on he has contributed to democracy and so that seat will be given to him. That one is one of like, if there is anything like wrongest reason, that is so wrong to say. And this person is an ex-lawyer, is even baffling. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of the day.